So I, I, will, I will not bore you with a lot of technical details, but again, I learned a, long, a lot of lessons when I was talking with my chief finance officer because he kept talking in finance terms, and there are two notions of capital expense, also known as CapEx, and operating expense, also known as OpEx. In this world that we live in now, OpEx is more desirable than CapEx. And that is because CapEx is related to the notion of efficiency. And when you're not able to accurately predict years into the future what your market will be and what your customers want, CapEx becomes very risky. So in this slide, you see in the upper left an example of what often happens. We make our best guess about where the business is going to go, and then we make a large capital expense to invest in equipment, and then obviously the real world never turns out the way we think it's going to be, and demand fluctuates, and sometimes we don't have enough, and sometimes we have too much, and it's very hard to track. So instead, the next graph shows what if we give up trying to predict the future and instead go with an OPEX, operating expense model for our businesses, and we only buy and use the equipment and the services as we need them. That is a much more profitable model, and it is less risky. And it is the way that companies can manage the risk, because we are now moving into a very risky world in the sense that it is so hard to predict the future. So moving to an OPEX model in business is a better way to manage risk. And you might imagine that cloud computing is a great way to do that. Cloud computing, you can think of cloud computing as a utility. Cloud computing, a good analogy, is like electrical utilities. A hundred years ago, electrical utilities didn't exist so much, and big buildings had their own electric generator in the basement. And I live in, in Chicago, and there are many skyscrapers in Chicago now that are even more than a hundred years old, and when you go into those buildings and you go into the basement, they will show you where there used to be a huge coal-fired electric generator. And then there was a period when the electric utilities began to spring up. And in Chicago, the electric utility is called Commonwealth Edison. And you can just imagine the debate that went on between the people who thought perhaps it is better now to move our electric generation to the utility company and those other people who said, no, 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 we should keep our electric generation inside the building. And you can imagine how that affected people's jobs. There were many people in those buildings whose job was related to putting coal into the generator and making sure that all the wires in the generator in that building were working so the people in that building had electricity, but then it's often the finance people, and they are heartless, those finance people. But they're watching the money, and the finance people began to say, it is less risky if we use the utility company. And by that analogy, 100 years later, today, we are starting to have the same argument. In the IT world, there are many people who still feel it is too risky to go to the cloud because maybe my data will be stolen in the cloud or maybe unauthorized people will see my data. But there are other people who say it is a less risky move to go to the cloud because we do not have to make a large cap X expense to buy computers. These days, I probably would not get millions of dollars to build the data center that I built only 10 years ago. Instead, I would be better off just using cloud capacity from Amazon or Rackspace or Google there are, or IBM or Hewlett Packard. There are many companies now building cloud computing centers just like there are many companies who provide large electrical power stations so you do not need to have your own electrical power. So we are now moving into that world where you do not need 
You need to have your own laptop and your own smartphone, but you do not need to have your own huge data center because other companies can do that for you. And what that means now, especially for people in the IT world, and I am certainly one of those people, it is a change, and sometimes it is a scary change, but it is an opportunity now for us to not worry about managing the equipment and instead to manage the process. Because in, in our companies, what people want from computers is they want to know how the computer will respond to our customers and help us make money. They don't really care about all the technical details of keeping the computers running, so it is a better thing to let the cloud computing companies manage all of that hardware and when we then focus our attention on managing the process and being responsive to our companies and our customers then we become more valued we become more respected and we will see a big change in the way that the IT world operates.